Hi guys, I hope you're doing super well. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, for tuning into another day in the life vlog. I wasn't really expecting to film another one of these so quickly, but I've been feeling so much more motivated and inspired lately as far as work goes. And yeah, it feels really good to kind of get back into more of a consistent routine again. But I figured I would take you guys with me today. I have some more work to do. Um, I'm gonna run out and do some errands later. But before all of that, I'm going to get dressed and then I have a quick active wear haul that I want to share with you guys. So huge thank you to Athleta for sponsoring this video and for sponsoring this active wear haul. If you've never heard of Athleta before, they are a performance lifestyle brand for women. And the reason why I love them so much is because a lot of their pieces are very versatile. They're focused on transitional pieces. So a lot of what they create, you can wear not only to a yoga class or to the gym, but also if you're going out running errands, a lot of their clothes are really great for streetwear as well. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to open these packages and show you guys what I got. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this first package. Okay, so I got these really cute um, high-rise leggings. They're high-waisted and then they're seven eighth leggings. So they go down to about my ankles. Oh my gosh, I just like love this color. Another thing I love about Athleta is all of their clothing is so soft, like buttery smooth, and I love how it feels against my skin. So the next item that I got was this white, I think it's a crop top. Yeah, this one's really cute. It's kind of like a sports bra, but it's also kind of like a tank top as well. Oh, also all of the products will be linked in the description box down below. Oh my gosh, I am so stoked about these. These are the Elation Flare Pants. So the bottoms are flare. I've been like so into flare legs recently. I just find them to be so much more comfortable. Another top that I ordered was this. Aurora Crop Rib Tank. And I actually got this one in a size medium. I feel like I like rib tanks to be a little more loose up top. So, and this color is kind of like an off-white beige. It's really, really pretty. Two more things that I got. I got these really cute like scrunchies. I just like love the colors of these. They're so fun. And the last thing that I got is this white crop top. This one is really nice. Oh, this is actually the front because it has a built-in sports bra. So it has a lot of support. I got this one in a size medium as well. So I just changed back into the first outfit that I tried on because I am going to go to the gym here in a little bit. I wanted to take a moment to talk a little bit about motivation and consistency and just offer some tips on how to get out of a fitness slump because honestly at the beginning of this year i was just feeling so burnt out and just not motivated at all to do any type of exercise and i ended up not going to the gym for about a month i think like i just had taken so much time off after being sick that it was really hard to like find the motivation to go back into the gym and move my body. There were some days when I would get on my yoga mat and stretch, but I still wasn't feeling like very inspired to do like a full 
class or a practice. The biggest thing for me has been shifting my perspective or changing my perspective instead of being really hard on myself for not being as consistent as I used to be. I see that time off that I took as necessary. I see it as a break, something that I needed to do to rest, to rest my body, to rest my mind. And there have been so many times in my yoga journey throughout these past, I think seven years or so, where consistency has been off and on. I've had a lot of ups and downs with that. And I feel like that's just something that's like a part of life is moving and navigating through the ebbs and flows. So instead of being really hard on yourself, um, if you are going through kind of like a funk, I would recommend embracing it. Accept that you are feeling a little bit low, unmotivated, and honestly just be okay with that. When I was sick and not moving, I was doing a lot of journaling and meditating and just trying to focus on stillness. And I do truly believe that that was what I needed in that moment. So something I've been thinking about a lot and that I really want to implement into my routine moving forward is just allowing myself to show up as I am. So rather than expecting me to show up 100% as my best self on my yoga mat or in the gym, I'm just expecting myself to show up as I'm feeling in that moment because I know that there are going to be some days where I do not feel like getting out of bed. And that's another point I wanna make is you have to realize you can't rely solely on motivation. I feel like motivation comes and goes. There are going to be some days where you really just do not wanna to go to the gym or step on your mat. And in those moments, you just have to remind yourself to show up as you're feeling. In my opinion, showing up as you are that is already a huge win something to celebrate because at least for me i know that whenever i move my body i feel so much better mentally physically emotionally so anytime you show up on your mat it's it's something to celebrate my next tip is to switch things up in your fitness routine. I've spoken a little bit about this in my sit down chat where I talk a little bit about consistency and how to stay motivated in your yoga practice. I talk about how it's really important to do different things in your yoga practice. Try different styles, try different postures, go to a different studio, try new teachers, just switch it up so that you're keeping things interesting, you're keeping things fun. I find this is like really, really important for me because I can get bored really easily if I'm doing the same routine over and over again. In my normal yoga routine, I honestly either do like a yin, a slow flow, or a restorative class. But recently, I've been incorporating weights into my practice and doing more like hit style classes, sculpt yoga, things like that. And I've actually like, I've been loving it so much. It's just something that's different in my normal routine. It's something that I look forward to because it's new. If you're wanting to switch up your gym routine, try different machines, different exercises. Something that I love to do um, recently is I love to go on Pinterest and search for specific exercises. I've been doing like a lot of ab and core strengthening. So I'll just like look up um, new things on Pinterest to help me get some fresh ideas. So yeah, just switching things up in your routine, I feel like can really help you stay motivated. Another tip that I have is to make really, really fire playlists. This is something that I love to do to motivate myself, whether I'm practicing yoga or going to the gym. I love listening to music. I find that it can really have a positive effect on my overall mood and energy. If you have a Spotify account, obviously you can make different playlists there. You can look up playlists as well. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box down below to my Spotify so you can look through my playlist if you'd like. So those are all of my tips on how to get out of a fitness slump. Honestly, the biggest thing for me has 
just been learning how to be more kind to myself and just appreciating the journey and recognizing that progress is way more important than perfection. So just know that there will be moments in your journey where you don't feel motivated to move your body and that's okay. You're human, give yourself grace. You're allowed to have low moments, moments where you don't feel like your best self. And I feel like during those times, it's really important to remind yourself just to show up as you are. So with all of that being said, I'm gonna go hit the gym. So good outside. So I just got back from the gym. And I feel so good. Like it's amazing how my mind feels so much more clear. My body feels so much more energized after really good workouts. Um, I guess it's just all of those endorphins. I feel like I've never once regretted working out or going to the gym. So it just feels really, really good. So now I'm about to take a shower and then I'm going to make some lunch and do some work around the house. I originally was gonna to try to go to a cafe that I sometimes like to work at, but I don't think I have time. I have an appointment I have to go to later and then I still have to go uh, grocery shopping. So yeah, that's what is on the agenda for this evening. super quick salad from some ingredients that I already had in my fridge. Uh, leftover rice, and then I had this like tomato cucumber salad that I just threw on top of the greens. I added some smoked salmon, avocado, sprouts, and then I seasoned it with salt and pepper. So I'm feeling a little bit rushed, but it's fine. Um, I just finished cleaning. I just finished some work. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. It's crazy like how time flies, especially when you're vlogging. Mm -hmm. 